Carmelos. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I really hope you're having a beautiful and an amazing day. This is a timeless collective reading for the sign of Aquarius. I feel like right now this is saying if this Queen of Pentacles chariot energy is you, this is you needing to understand the importance right now of you being very grounded, very stable. The Queen of Pentacles is someone who is practical. They um, are business minded. This person is um, grounded. They're stable. They're secure. They believe in doing things that are going to be efficient. This is someone who is proactive. This is a builder. Feminine energy could be male or female. And then the chariot. The chariot energy here is saying that you're moving forward past any kind of obstacles or challenges. There could be something in your life, in your past, um, that could be a bit dark, okay? But this is this is dark in its light. This is duality. If you notice, again, this, this woman is on this motorcycle. This is needing to, once again, embrace this fearless like energy. There's the Ace of Swords. Like I said, there's some type of clarity, a truth, a breakthrough here. And it's what you need for you to actually take action, Okay, is what you need to actually take action. For some of you, again, there's a toxic or karmic like energy that has been holding on to you that you haven't been able to free yourself from. I say that because I see the king of pentacles here with the devil. Okay, this could be a Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo person. All right, but you have out here, wow, I just noticed this. You have the queen and the king of pentacles out here. All right. And I was speaking earlier about a karmic situation. So you have the queen and king of pentacles out here. Some of you, might, you, maybe you've been in like a karmic cycle with someone. Maybe you were afraid to move on or you did move on from this situation. But you could have moved on quickly. And maybe you didn't know the full truth about a situation. Regardless of if you knew the truth about it or not. Spirit is saying with the Ace of Swords that there is definitely some type of breakthrough that's here. There's a huge, huge eye-opening um, situation here. Some type of awareness, some type of truth, some type of clarity. Boom, the world card. And it's going to allow you to, wow. <laughs> I can't make this up. The world and the six of swords, you can release this baggage. You're free to go. It's pretty much what Spirit is saying. You're free to go from this situation. And if you, it, it's giving very much like if you had any piece of, of any type of like lingering, if, if there's any lingering energy that's coming, it's, it's being removed. The ten of wands, I'm telling you, this, the cards are saying exactly what I said at the beginning of the reading. The Page of Pentacles, the Ten of Wands, what I say, this is a confirmation. It's an offer. It's an opportunity. For some of you, it could be a new house, new car, new job. You're moving into a different direction. But this, whatever this clarity here is that you're getting, is going to help you release a lot of baggage and, and just drop it for good. The Ten of Wands, it's like you've been carrying something. Maybe someone has even been carrying like a secret, okay? This is finally... You're being free from this. Wow, the high priest is in the reverse. There, there are no secrets here. <laughs> the high priest is in the reverse. Here's the three of wands. Wow, and the emperor. Five of swords. King of wands, two of cups, ace of wands. Wow. Some of you, this is just, it's the releasing... It's the final release of a karmic, um, like a, a karmic soulmate, um, some type of relationship. You have the king and queen of pentacles out here with the devil. You were maybe tied to a person through karma, okay? But the high priestess is in the reverse. You could have been tied to a person through karma when you met someone in your journey and you were not the high priestess in the upright. This doesn't mean that you were you were dark, you were nasty, you were shady. You may have not just have come into a certain level of awakening and awareness where you had reached your higher self and gained access to a lot of sacred wisdom and knowledge. Therefore, you may have really thought with this queen, king of pentacles, um, connection here that this was like a counterpart but what you didn't know is that somebody here i feel is is or was willing 
to do whatever it took to to keep you okay or to i'm hearing capture you to have you in this cycle tied into some type of kingdom of darkness with them what you have now though is you have a passion new beginning coming in ace of wands two of cups and here's the king of wands so you have the king of pentacles out here who you are in a karma connection with you have equal give and take coming in now with this king of wands some of you, maybe you've been, maybe you ha um, you've been holding back a little bit afraid of embracing something or someone new because you didn't have all of, like I said, you didn't have all the information, but the information is coming to you. There's a confirmation coming towards you about a situation and it could be about a lover and it's going to help you put the nail in the coffin in this situation. Yeah. Something, look, the four of pentacles, something that you held on to. You held on maybe to the idea of something. Wow. Now, I share my, 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 my little tidbit this morning. I won't give the specifics, but this, this is different <laughs> from my personal situation, but this is what's coming out in the reading. So again, what I said at the beginning, hopefully that will help someone understand whatever it is in your life, whether it's you releasing a job, you releasing the idea of you being in a relationship, you releasing um, fears of starting over, whatever it is, you're finally about to see for sure why. It's safe for you to move on. Why is safe now for you to love? You've been holding on to something that has been hurting you. It's the regret. It's the pain. And look at what just fell out. The four of wands. Ooh, the ten of pentacles. Dang, that's crazy. And I have so much like peace within me right now. So I feel like when it comes to the collective energy, whenever you realize for yourself what this is that was holding you back, that you may have stumbled into during a time, like I said, when you were not fully in your purpose just yet, you're coming out of it because you're going to realize now that something that you were holding on to, that you valued, okay, it was actually bringing you heartache, pain, and grief. You thought that everything was fine, but in actuality, something here was, it was deceiving. It was a betrayal. It was a trap. It was a setup here. And you thought that you were happy. So this could be, like I said, it could be a job. It could be a friendship. It could be a relationship. You've been under the illusion that you loved something or someone, or you were loved by something or someone, and it may not have been true. King of Cups. In the reverse. Yeah. And this could have to do with a, a relationship. The Hierophant or family. Somebody could be finding out that their parent is not their um, biological parent. But this is karma. Something here. Some type of information. It needs to come out for you to know. So that you can quickly go towards your wish fulfillment and happiness and no longer be in some type of mental entrapment. It's something here that you need to know. There's a secret that needs to come out. And with two super moons being in August, for a lot of you, the, the information is going to come out. Now, it may not come directly to you, but I feel like energetically there's going to be some kind of releasing that's going to happen. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Six of wands, eight of wands. You put a lot of time, effort, and energy into building something for yourself. But unfortunately, something here has been blocked. You're needing to really stand up for yourself and defend yourself and protect your own honor at this time. Because you are quickly moving into a time of great success. All right. Yeah. You have to really speak up and speak out about whatever this situation is. For some of you, it may not be you speaking up to a person per se, but 
you need to know that right now it's very important for you and the Queen of Swords to make a head over heart decision and walk away from a situation that does not serve you. Because there's a situation here that's blocking your life purpose, your soul purpose, a divine contract, possibly a relationship or a very significant partnership in your life here. Yeah, I feel though that you are holding this sort of truth, this clarity that you have, like I said, it's going to give you the confidence that you need now to fully walk away from something for a lot of you this definitely has to do with like a relationship and there was some kind of jealousy envy competition it's being exposed because something here it had you confused it was an illusion wow the moon card yeah a cancer could be involved here you have a person that's been hiding in the background i just heard jezebel you have like a jezebel energy Someone who has been hiding in the background, um, trying to trick you and create illusions here, okay? Stirring up mess, chaos, conflict, and drama. This person could be someone who is very jealous and envious of your light and the purity and the essence of who you are. And so they've done something. Somebody, for some of you, they've betrayed you in the dark, for sure. And it's coming out. Somebody could have betrayed you because of something that has to do with your life purpose or a relationship, possibly both. It's coming out. But judgment is here. You're going to be standing tall, strong, still self-sufficient, abundant, single, or whatever your relationship status is. But regardless, you're still going to be able to be in this energy of being the star. But I do feel that for a lot of you, because the Six of Pentacles is here in the reverse, there is someone here that you trusted. You will never give, there will be no more equal give and take with this person or this situ in this situation. Because now you're no longer stuck and bound to the past. There was some type of loyalty or allegiance that you had with a person, a group. This could be friends, family, a lover, or whomever. When you find out whatever this truth is, and you really get your wings, you're going to fly far, far away from these people and you're never going to look back. The angels are doing something in the background also to strengthen you because you need to be prepared for whatever this, this truth is. They want to strengthen you to make sure that you're okay. Yeah, somebody may come in and try to offer an apology for interfering in your life, interfering in a connection, breaking your heart, or whatever the situation is. You can accept the apology. This situation was meant to break your heart so that it could fix your vision. But see, now it's time for you to go on like a, a a whole like rampage of just manifestation. You need to use whatever this is, especially if it's something for you that is painful. Don't allow it to cause you to miss any opportunities. You need to use this as fuel for your fire. Free yourself from whatever this, this scandal, this scheme, this betrayal. Free yourself from this and start manifesting. Because now... The, the, the good thing about whatever this situation is, the delays are about to be over because you no longer have to hold on to this. Nine of swords, seven of swords. Some of you have been feeling like you needed to take care of a person, help a person, honor a person, a job, um, stay in a relationship. I'm seeing so many different things. Somebody could find out that their parent is not their biological parent. Somebody could find out that a child is not biologically theirs and they've been staying in a situation. Someone here has been staying in a situation trying to be the bigger person, um, acting with a lot of love, light, and compassion, and the whole thing has been a lie. Something here is rooted in deception. There's a lot of covering up of truth and like i said this is something that you most likely five of pentacles but this card was actually upside down five of pentacles it seems like to me now you can come from out of being this energy of being left out in the cold you're so much stronger it's like somebody kind of threw you to the wolves and you're coming back leading the pack 
But somebody here definitely did something. Somebody could have purposely tried to sabotage a relationship or a connection that you were in or that they knew you were going into. That's another situation that I'm seeing here. Someone could have tried to hex or curse like your love life so the new love couldn't come into your life. But this Ten of Pentacles and this Four of Wands drop, this is what you're being rewarded with for your, your good karma. Your karmic justice is bringing you peace, stability, happiness. For some, serious relationships, partnerships, marriage, it's your legacy. It, it, it's everything that you worked so hard for with that Seven of Pentacles energy for perhaps 11, the last seven to ten years. And this is, oh my gosh, remember when I said the... There won't be two full moons in the same month until 2037, right? It's 2023. Remember I talked about two different karmic cycles, seven years? Look at this, Ten of Pentacles and the number four, Four of Wands. Whatever you're working on right now or whatever you need to start work, it's going to affect you for the next like 10 to 15 years. But there's something that has possibly affected you for the last maybe 7 to 14 years that you finally have to release completely. Something could be significant about the year 2000, like we'll say 2009, 2010, 2014 2018 whatever this is that you're being freed from and receiving this karmic justice in where judgment is being called it has something to do with your past but with all of this full moon super moon energy now in leo season leo season brings about exposure it's the sun energy Yeah, justice is here. Archangel Michael is saying, you're not stuck. This is that sword of truth. It has come in to free you. You have to get down off of this tree of hanging in suspense, wondering, waiting. No. For some of you, the truth is whatever this connection is that you've been hoping, wishing, and praying for, it was never actually your divine connection. This connection was rooted in it was put together by the devil himself. You crossed paths with someone at a time when you were not in your highest vibration and you got connected to a, a, a karmic who is, is most likely demonic. This is somebody you, you've been in the arms of a witch or a warlock, or someone with like some type of Jezebel, incubus, succubus-like spirit. This is a Judas in your life. But justice is here. Wow. Justice. The hermit. The high priestess. Eight of Pentacles. You've been watched. Someone has been watching and monitoring. You work very, very hard right now. And it seems like it has even been some type of group or team effort. There's two to three people or maybe even five, up to five people. Could be up to eight people, however many. There's a, a group or a community of people who have been watching you work very hard to build something. They've been playing around in your energy trying to get you to juggle Hoping that you would sabotage something that was happening in your life. Because they could see that there was an offer coming in. The Knight of Cups, the Three of Cups. Somebody saw an offer coming towards you. Of It's a big offer. And it's the offer that is leading to this Four of Wands, Ten of Pentacles. So somebody could have tried to sabotage an offer in your past. And I feel like what ended up happening is they may have actually sabotaged an offer in the past with these pentacles being there. Somebody, for some of you, they sabotaged a connection in the past. And they may have really thought that they were winning, but what they didn't realize is that they did exactly what they were contracted to do in this lifetime, which was to help destroy this connection because it was never meant to happen anyway. Ooh, wow. Wow.
this is this is a really harsh truth and reality. There's a lot of people in your life who have been agents of the devil. They've been your secret hidden enemies. And these people have either worked together or they pay money to sabotage things in your life, but they did you a favor because they actually helped you to break completely out of a karmic cycle. This is a prime example of your enemies truly being used as your footstool. Because your enemies, it looks like you have a group of friends, family members, or a community that came together. They watched you build something. They came together and they purposely decided to try to have you to juggle so that they could come in and, and finish the job of ruining whatever you were trying to build. But they actually did you a favor because you could have actually been building something that was on a faulty foundation that God did not want you to continue with anyway. So by them coming in, destroying something, they destroyed something that had already been placed together by something dark anyway that you didn't need to be a part of. Now, what they've actually done is they've helped you to clear the path for exactly what you truly deserve and that you desire. And they also now have shown their true colors. Therefore, now they owe the devil and they're also being judged by God. So everything here is being perfectly balanced out. OK, the justice card, this is Libra energy, the hermit card, Virgo. So right now in Leo season. Two super moons, one in Aquarius, one in Pisces. You're going to see a lot of things be exposed. There's going to be some hurtful, harsh truths for some. Some things could be heartbreaking, but it's, it's meant to fix your vision. Going into Virgo season, you're going to know exactly what you need to know. You're going to be dotting all your I's, crossing all of your T's, really, really getting a plan of action. And you're going to go back into manifestation mode. And what's going to come for you most likely by the time Libra season comes, there's going to be all of this, this great grand karma, good karma that's coming. Because I feel like your spiritual team is about to wipe the floor with some people because of what they did in, in the background. Although what they did in the background to hurt you or to harm you, it was used for your greater good. Yes, but they still had no right to do what they did. So, again, this is just karma. That's why I tell you guys all the time. Look, this is, oh, my. Y'all, what? look, the lovers twice. This was about a, a um, divine contract. Wow. I... Sometimes, like, I always say, it is not often that you see the emperor and the empress come out together in a reading, like, together. I don't know if I've ever seen the lovers come out together like this. The lovers and the lovers. See, this right here, for a lot of you, this lovers, this is the, the regular lovers card. This is like a past life connection, which is probably this situation. This is a past life connection with you and someone. You have a very strong bond or connection, but you could never come together. You see how their hands aren't. Well, let me not put this in there because they'll flag this. You, This is a connection. It could never come together. Okay. But you have this connection. And I'm hearing what well, God places together. No man can can separate. You have a, a connection that's coming in for you now, and it's very protected. King of Swords, King of Pentacles. Page of Swords, Queen of Wands. Judgment. Wow, Justice. The Hermit, King of Pentacles. King of Cups, Strength Card. I don't know the hangman here is in the reverse as well. Chariot. So spirit has me going away with this. This right here. Some of you in actual the truth is, spirit just told me to read this differently. 
you had a relationship with someone and you thought that no man could could separate you and this person. It wasn't God ordained. That's the problem. You thought something was was protected and God ordained and it wasn't. It was a strong connection, yes. It wasn't God ordained because the truth is there were people that came between this connection. Because here it is, here, there were people that came in between this connection. Here's the Queen of Wands. You got the Page of Swords. You've had people watching you, stalking you. This could have been a karmic couple watching you, stalking you, okay? This person, you could have been with someone. They chose someone else over you. They started teaming up with whoever they chose over you. They now are facing karma. Judgment and justice came out together, they're facing karma could be under some type of investigation for constantly looking into your life. Whoever this King of Pentacles person is, which is here, okay, this person is devastated because they've been caught. This person tried to sacrifice you, caused delays in your life. They have spiritually attacked you for a long time. You have the hangman here, which is in the reverse, and the chariot. But you managed to escape and get out of this. Now, back to this, lovers, over here. Some of you, now you're about to meet your actual counterpart. Why? Because you've ascended. You've healed. I don't want you to know I'm not making this up. You've ascended. You've healed. You can see behind the veil. And guess what? You know now that this connection that you once had, it was not God ordained. You're meeting a real earth angel. You're balanced. Now you're emotionally. I just want to like run around the room right now. I just say you don't see the emperor and the empress come out together. And here they are together. And here's the king of cups in the upright. This is your true counterpart that's coming in. Because now you're no longer under any type of illusion about yourself. Look at the Queen of Swords here with the Queen of Pentacles. In the past, you thought that you would you would only be a Queen of Pentacles to a King of Pentacles. You've ascended now to Emperor status. And therefore, now you have a true divine counterpart. Somebody had you under an illusion about yourself where you could have been thinking that you would not get to a certain level of success or you wouldn't be married or whatever it is. There's been a blockage here and it came from some type of illusion. But now you've had to call on karmic justice to be served in order for you to manifest a new beginning. And by doing that, that means that whoever, wow, whoever these toxic individuals are, who were coming against you, they've now been caught. Their will of fortune is in the reverse. This queen of wands, whoever this karmic energy, this Jezebel, this Judas, or whomever that has been working against you, they now have been caught because somebody here, they wanted what you had, but they wanted what you had, which was actually tied to the devil. Somebody literally tried to ruin you only to take a karmic relationship from you. It was never even the real thing. And also, whoever this masculine is, this past life masculine or whomever, that person was always karmic. And they are coming out as the emperor now with the devil. This person has been ranking up in their kingdom of darkness. But they wanted to keep a hold of your pentacle. This person has done all kinds of stuff to you. In the dark. Guaranteed. But here you are. You made it out. You escaped. You completely made it out. I always tell you that Archangel Michael is personally escorting you out of this matrix. Out of this hell hole. This contract is over and you're going into a new one. Yeah. Somebody here has to be completely like purged out of your energy and I'm, I just heard forever they could never get in your energy again somebody did something really really wicked behind the scenes and I'm telling you whoever th this because I'm seeing several different scenarios here this is like a karmic feminine 
has been attacking a divine feminine the entire time and their masculine wasn't even divine feminine's divine masculine so for some of you you had a partner who left you chose another person over you got with the other person the other person has been attacking you for what a decade about this masculine but this masculine isn't even your divine masculine so they've been tormenting and torturing you behind the scenes with spell work or whatever they've been doing delaying your path and they were always your enemy this was this was supposed to go exactly how it's going the only thing that was missing was you needing to know this for yourself so that you could move on um, freely. So that you could get yourself out of this situation entirely and not have any regrets about it. Because it looks like this illusion and confusion has been the holdup. I feel for a lot of people, this could have to do for sure. We, we saw with the two lovers, it has to do with your life purpose and with a potential life partner. You've been very confused. You know, should you, should you go back to somebody? Should you wait on someone? Who should, you know, not knowing because... This had to have been some type of hex or something. It had to be. Because it's like literally a divine feminine has been stuck in some type of illusion. You were not seeing something clearly here. Wow. This also could be too, like I said, with friends and family, whoever these people are, because it's more than one, whoever the people are who have been spiritually attacking you about a connection, there's nothing left here before a lot of karma to be served because these people have no idea that the entire time they were, they were actually preparing you for, for greater. They were attacking you about a karmic relationship. God literally has allowed them to do this, though, because all of these people <laughs> just wrote their name on their own plot for doing this, because I'm picking up an energy of somebody. Like I said, the year is 2010, 2014, 2018 could be significant. 2020 could be significant. OK, um. They did all of this to sabotage a connection that wasn't a God or dang connection anyway. So God literally has been hiding you in plain sight, just using you really as like karmic bait. Because all these people have been coming against you and your relationship. Do you know how much karma that is now that the fact that they blocked all these these people have been blocking blessings for you for some of you for for 10 for four to 10 or even 14 or more years and they were trying to stop you from not being able to have blessings going into 2037 and beyond this is how how serious they were about blocking you and stopping you hexing you cursing you whatever they've been doing or holding on to these secrets. This could also be people um, like in your family who have been holding on to secrets about money and inheritance. There's a lot of secrets here that's coming out. And this reading is a lot of different situations. People are going to be finding out the truth about, um, you know, paternity situations. People are going to, family secrets are going to be um, expose the truth about money and inheritances all this stuff is about to come out but for some of you these Jezebel Judas like energies that's around you they definitely are about to be on the front because I'm telling you some of you your friends your family your ex lovers these people whether they came to, whether separately or they all came together they have all had a part in trying to block you from going into your life path, your life journey, 
and meeting the person that God himself has ordained for you. These people have done everything to stop you from having business, success, any type of romantic offers. They've done a lot. And the type of deception and betrayal that's behind the scenes in these situations, it truly is sickening. It really is. Some of you, you have friends and family who have slept with the person that you may have at some point thought you were going to spend your life with all out of spite. You have people who have lied about children for 10 or more years only so that they could have financial security. And it's like, it's a lot here. Your commitment is being tested, but a win-win outcome is forecast full moon in Libra. I would say you guys need to make sure that you are keeping yourself very grounded here in Leo season as different things may be coming to the surface that could be very challenging. But again, these things are going to come in to break you so that you can, you can actually rebuild the right way. Wow. <sighs> Luck is on your side. No moon is Sagittarius. Conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Yeah, something is about to be eclipsed out of your life for good. And whatever these secrets are, it's about to come out. And luck is on your side. You are good enough, full moon in Virgo. Yeah, hold your vision, all right? Somebody has tried to make you feel like you weren't good enough. And they did this by, for sure, causing all of these delays in your life. For some of you, you probably have become a bit cold-hearted to some point. I'm hearing you're not as affectionate as you used to be. You need to balance your spirituality and practicality here. Full moon in Pisces. So the full moon in Pisces is actually August 30th. So this month, like I said, really make sure that you're being grounded. Here in Leo season, um, in the month of August, the Leo new moon is August 16th. You need to be very, very grounded at this time. Because, and I mentioned this a few days ago, that Leo energy, that fiery, passionate energy is here. But you have a full moon in Aquarius. You're going to still be wanting to kind of be um, laid back, very focused, a little bit detached right now. You may need to detach and take some time out. But make sure you're staying grounded. Some of you also, you're going to get truth, clarity, and information and downloads. It's going to make you really want to just like react and respond in an extreme way. The best thing you can do right now is to kill a lot of people with silence and with kindness. Because I'm telling you, these people have plots with their name on it for what they've done to you. Figuratively for some, literally for others. These people have... Some of you don't even realize that some of the stuff these people have done, they've been receiving karma for what they did to you. You could have people in your life who they've done something to you and either the same thing or something else has happened to them and it hit them tenfold for because of what they did to you. And either they're about to realize why they went through what they went through or you're going to realize why they went through what they... It's because of what they did to you. But see, that was just the beginning. It's about to get worse for a lot of these people who have been behind the scenes because they never once came to you and tried to admit the truth. They never once apologized. They just been sweeping all this mess under the rug. Your hard work is paying off. New moon in Capricorn. Step out your comfort zone. You're, you're, you're coming out of the matrix and going right into your north node. So you need to work. Wow, look at that. South node. 
Don't let your past hold you back and work through your fears. New moon in Scorpio. Like I said, new, new, this is all new energy. Expect a powerful change. This is like an eclipse type of energy that's happening. And here you have it. Show the world the real you, full moon and Aquarius. Yeah. So there you have it. We have both the full moon in Aquarius and the full moon in Pisces that I saw earlier. This month we have full moon in Aquarius and Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. This here says the new moon in Pisces. It's a time to give rather than take. Like I said, this is a time right now for you to give love, light, compassion. Bring love into this situation. New moon in Aquarius. Here's full moon. There definitely could be an Aquarius out here. Virgo um, is heavily aspected. Virgo, Capricorn, Aquarius. Okay. But hold on to your vision. Something is going to work out in your favor. It may not feel like it, especially when you're going through this. This reading may resonate with you now, but I'm telling you, for a lot of you, you're going to have a situation in the next few weeks, and it's going to really, really test you. It's going to really test you. Because when you find out, not just the fact that someone has been stealing from you, it's not so much what's being done. When you guys really start finding out who has been doing certain things to you, like I said, you may not ever truly know why. A lot of it is just pure jealousy and envy. It's going to throw you for quite the loop. But the best thing you can do is to stay grounded and be very mature about this situation. Because what you need to keep in mind is that you literally are manifesting the life of your dreams. And these people, they were used as your footstools. Wow. People hating on your spiritual and psychic gifts. Some of you could have a lot of spiritual and psychic gifts. You've had a lot of people around you trying to create illusions because they did not want you to see the truth about them. This definitely could be friends, family, and lovers. These are people who are close to you. Hold on. Causing you to act out of character. Yeah, be irrational emotion. Um, Having irrational emotions and mood swings. That's what I'm saying. These situations that's about to come up is going to make you really want to act out of character. Don't do it. And then here's the Mercury Retrograde card. Mercury Retrograde is starting August 23rd. So moving into August, you guys, August is going to be a month where there's going to be tons of things happening to distract you. Secrets are coming out. Mercury Retrograde. The past is coming up. Secrets and situations from the past is coming up. But... Always keep in mind, Leo season, the Lion's Gate portal, these things are being like uprooted and, and put out in the atmosphere so that you can see what you need to heal to manifest exactly what you want. Don't be distracted by this. A lot of stuff that's going to be coming up, what you need to keep in mind is that it has already happened. You're just getting the, the facts or the truth or the clarity about it now. It has already happened. So, yeah, it may make you upset, but these are situations for a lot of you. It has already ended. The damage has already been done. All you have to do now is accept it and, and really move on. The damage has already been done. So don't allow this these distractions here to come in and get you stuck because that's that's what these people really want you to do. You have the Aquarius full moon, which is tomorrow. The Leo new moon is it on August 16th. And then one week after the Leo new moon, August 23rd, Mercury retrograde begins on the same day the Virgo season begins. So, you know, Virgo is going to look at everything. That's your hermit energy. You're going to be learning the truth about things from your past. That's what this energy is here. This is for sure like a lot of predictions about August. The intimacy issues card is here. You guys could be finding out that somebody could be dealing with some type of health issues, um, STD, STI. Somebody could have been trying to do glamour magic on you so that they could either get you infected with something or hide the fact that they are infected with something. I mean, it's just a lot of stuff coming out. It says the person causing you negativity is an air sign. It could be Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. 
hating on your creativeness and ideas, okay? That doesn't have to be their sun sign. They could have air anywhere in their chart, and that could be anyone. But Aquarius is for sure out here, a lot. There's a lot of Aquarius energy out here, and it could be due to the fact that we have this full moon in Aquarius, but you have a lot of Aquarius energy. Somebody also could be on the cusp of Capricorn and Aquarius, or they're on the cusp of Aquarius and Pisces. It says, be careful not to overindulge in alcoholic beverages or drug use. Someone could have tried to block your sacral chakra because they didn't want you to have abundance. They didn't want you to be very creative. Someone was trying to have you to act like very either overly emotional or for you to be emotionally unavailable. Somebody could have been doing fertility magic on you. They, they just want to take away anything that gives you passion or, or pleasure. Wow. Your closest friends hold grudges against you. I said for some of you, this is a friend. This is so weird. This is a very specific... Some of you literally, it's like you could have had a friend that has slept with someone that you are with or that you once were with. Someone in this situation has contracted an STD. And they're hiding this. And I don't know, it could be something that is curable or it may not be. But somebody here is hiding. The person causing you negativity is a fire sign. Someone hating on your successful life choices. The Queen of Wands has been all out here. Like I said, this, this person could definitely have Cancer and Leo in their chart. Cancer, Leo, Virgo. Are the signs I'm picking up, especially with like a um a feminine energy. Fire sign. So in Leo season, there's a Leo out here. Could be on the good side or the bad side of the fence. I don't know. But just like with the moons, it's a Pisces out here, a Leo, and an Aqu and something with an Aquarius. And then we have this Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Take it however it resonates. A family member is hating on you. Always going against you by arguing their point, never considerate of your point of view, and secretly jealous and hating on your romantic relationship. And someone is all in your business getting tarot readings on you. Wow. And constantly hating on your spiritual gifts. Some of you definitely have an ex-friend that has done something terrible to you and it's going to be exposed. Yeah, somebody could have been doing black magic on you. Causing you to, wow, cause you to miss out or lose an opportunity. Somebody may have wanted you to have some type of unexplained freak accident. Could have been causing sleep paralysis um, in an attempt to send like dark entities to your home. Trying to hold you down in your dream state. You may need to do an egg cleanse or just some kind of spiritual cleansing. Wow. Y'all, this is a lot. And... This this is not just perhaps one story or situation. Take it however it resonates. I'm just digging deep because this is a lot of the stuff that's going to be happening throughout August, I feel. You have the conflict card here and the family card. You could have more than one person that has been... Um, some of you, there's two different masculines that have been trying to compete to have a family with you. Also, for some of you, there is, um, again, for, I'm definitely seeing a very strong paternity case here. There's two men who could be friends, brothers, cousins, or whatever the case is, even business partners or something like that. They're going to be in family corpus because someone is going to be for sure arguing about the paternity of a child. You have here the vow card. It says wish, hope, and worship. Look. Yeah, you're going to be okay. You're coming into some type of reward, recognition, great fortune. Um, Here's the right card. This is about like magic or somebody here. 
I don't know what this is. Somebody was hoping that some type of plan to cause you to lose, I would say, like, your spiritual eyes, your psychic gifts or something like that would work so that they could hide something from you. It didn't. You're relaxed. <laughs> You're relaxed, you're at peace, and you're going to have great victory and success because you are a high priestess and you already knew that something was going on. You know, reservation and real estate here. Someone could be getting a new house, new car, just experiencing a lot of stability and security after taking some type of loss. Yeah, somebody definitely here did, did some type of black magic, some type of ritual. They were planning somehow to ensure that you could not see the truth about something here. And this could be a couple here, or this could be friends, family. They all took a vow to to try to um, take your good fortune, your rewards, your recognition by trying to sacrifice you or doing some kind of black magic on you. And they were, they've been doing it. Again, it feels like this is something that happened, but they've been doing everything to cover this up. What this really gives me is the fact that somebody already knows that if you find out who did what to you, they're really afraid of the karma. They're really afraid of you knowing what's done because, you know, as soon as you fully know a situation, it really cancels a lot of stuff out. And that, that ultimate karmic justice is going to be served. Sometimes karma isn't served until you actually learn the lesson. Meaning you can't, you, there's no more assumptions. No, you're about to know exactly who, what, when, where, why, and how something happened. And when that happens and you call on karmic justice, everybody is afraid of what's going to happen. Because somebody here could actually end up in jail for what they've done. They're going to have to learn a hard lesson here. You live and you learn. Mary making here homelessness. <laughs> overload and persevere yeah somebody tried to take some kind of shortcut to cause like issues obstacles and challenges for you because this person they didn't want to face some type of challenge themselves so they did something to hurt or harm or sacrifice you in a way for their own personal gain this is backfiring and then they turned around and tried to cover it up like I said, you guys, I'm, I'm channeling so many different things. Some of these situations, it's one situation. For some of you, it's multiple situations. And, and the, some of it could be your story. Some of it could be the story of someone else around you. Just take what resonates in this. There's just a lot coming out here. This is just tons of different predictions. But somebody here definitely could end up facing some type of jail time. Or they're, they're for sure going to be completely kicked out of your energetic field. That's for sure. child i told you something here about a child wow so when it comes to this child like i said somebody somebody doesn't know who their biological parent is and they're about to find out somebody could be adopted they could be looking for their biological parent you could find out the truth about that or you could be finding out that one of your parents isn't actually your biological parent Whatever it is, there's also possibly a wealthy man out here that is about to find out that the person that they've been in a courtship with, who they had a child with, that child may not actually be theirs. This child was a way for them to finally be a part of a family. Somebody wanted a masculine to take care of a child so that they could gain something. This is coming to an end because the truth is coming out. And this man is going to be in despair about this. But this this is feeling like the masculine who, yeah, look, who tried to cause endings. This is a masculine who tried to steal something from a divine feminine. 
try to steal your gift to create a family with someone only to find out that the family is false only to find out that the child isn't even biologically theirs i'm telling you karma is being served these people thought that they were so sneaky so cunning so sly so smart no and people think that karma forgets about them because you know th this wasn't the karma they just this wasn't instant karma. This is stuff that has been done behind the scenes. Look, the card, card number seven for seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. People are getting karma for stuff that happened years ago. And look, remember the dates I said? So 2017, 18, 19, 2021 could be significant. When you were the age of 32 or when someone else was the age of 32, something could have happened. Wow. And somebody is definitely going to be in despair. Yeah, because this is judgment here. And I feel that you guys, you have you have good karma coming. But see, it's something about how, obviously with energy, for things to be balanced out. If you receive all of your good karma, if they've been using your energy to steal your wealth and your abundance... The minute that you get all of your energy back, this I keep saying it every other day. Everybody who has been using your magic, your energy, all of their chariots are about to stop and turn into pumpkins. Every last one of them. And that's why they're so afraid. These people wanted you to be forever blind to what they were doing. I feel a lot of you, someone has been doing like a lot of rituals. They've been doing like scheduling rituals, planning, organizing, scheduling. This is like a spiritual organized crime. They've been doing rituals on you nonstop to, to have you be spiritually blind to what they were doing so that they could take your luck and your abundance and your fortune. And this is now it's over. Because God saw everything that they did. And again, what they did, <laughs> they literally did all of these curses on a bunch of things that were not even actually God ordained for you. And whatever they took, trust me, there's so much more that they never had access to. They think that they stole a lot. <laughs> Once they're out of your energy, the stuff that they, that you have coming into your life, wow. God never truly revealed everything that he was saving for you. Because he knew these people were mooching off of your energy. Courtship, house, and high honor. A lot of you, like I said... You now you're going to go into a very um, successful partnership. This could be strictly business for some of you. It could be romantic. It could be both. But you definitely have a significant partnership, a relationship. And it is with someone that is of high honor. You guys could be going into a partnership with someone where you're going to be um, investing in something. There could be like some type of real estate investments here. I don't know why the TV in here just like turned off, turned back on and Netflix just started and I'm not touching anything. What just popped up is the hidden strike. The longest promise in paradise. Ladybug. Oh my gosh. It literally says the series, How to Become a Cult Leader. Wow. Missing the Lucy Blackman case. The surrogacy. I don't know why Spirit just kind of, uh, and then here, the beauty queen of Jerusalem. I feel like there's a SWAT. There's a message. 
SWAT. There's legal situations happening. Some of you are considered a beauty queen. I see Unseen on the screen. Now, I don't know what any of these shows are about at all. I'm just looking. The Lincoln Lawyer. There's definitely legal situations happening here. SWAT team. Somebody could be under an investigation. Um, there for sure is some kind of unsolved mystery or case. I see on the screen, the best of enemies. Yeah. Your enemies have given the absolute best that they have to do all of these things against you. And it's now, it's, it's judgment day. Puss in boots, the last wish. I feel like, like, yeah, this is like, and then extraction too. This is the last wish. Your last wish for some of you was for these people to be completely extracted out of your energy. And that's exactly what you're you're getting. <laughs> burn the house down. Yeah, burn it all down. That's what I'm saying. In Leo season and then now White House down. White House, like anything political, whatever. And then now it says a perfect story. This is your perfect story. Whatever this situation is, that's happening. There's so much beauty on the other side of it. You just have to continue to persevere because you're being tested, but there's a lot of legal situation. There's a lot happening here. And like I said, this cosmic time machine, um, what the stuff that has come out in the reading today, it may seem like it's all one story. For some of you, this is all one story. This all has been happening in your life in the background but this is several different situations you're gonna see stuff in the media in the public social media a lot is gonna be coming out but there's heavy heavy emphasis on the black magic and the rituals that friends family and lovers have done to try to keep certain people in bondage in spirit spiritual bondage this is like i said organized spiritual crimes that have taken place and the whole entire time the stuff that these people were doing it really was just it was a learning lesson for you and it is very difficult to understand that the people that you thought would be in your life for a lifetime they were only there to be a lesson it doesn't matter if it's friends family or lovers some of you have had to learn some very hard lessons about friends, family, and lovers, because I feel like in every sector of your life, there has been great pain and deception. Because I'm telling you, for some of you, your family and your friends, they definitely have had a huge hand in trying to stop you from being in a connection. But the big plot twist here is that this connection, it was never actually ordained by God. Anyway, I just keep hearing that. So these people, all they did was they showed their true colors. They show how jealous and envious and how far they're willing to go to break up a connection. God wouldn't let your connection with your Ten of Pentacles be broken up like this. This was not meant to be anyway. But it was meant for these people to show their hand. So that they <laughs> could be destroyed for the things that they've done. And there's something very, very beautiful that's coming in for you. I'm going to just look at what's coming in with this Ten of Pentacles and the Empress here. And then I'll close out. King of Pentacles, Eight of Swords. Somebody's going to jail. This same King of Pentacles. This person is going to jail or their spiritual jail. They're going to be bound somehow for the things that they've done. The devil. Could be a Capricorn out here for sure. The Knight of Swords. Yeah, this person has been addicted to constantly rushing towards you to attack you. Why? Because they don't want new love to come. The Knight of Cups is in the reverse. And they don't want you to walk away from them forever. On the screen now is Fatal Seduction. This is like a fatal attraction. Like, it's a fatal seduction. This is someone who is completely obsessed with, with you. And they keep spiritually attacking you. Especially whenever they realize that you have new love. Every time you have new love, 
this person has hexed you in some way to cause a tower so that you are out in the cold. They also are doing things to ensure that you're the queen of pentacles in the reverse. This is all about this karmic relationship. Literally, you guys, look, you see the devil came out with the king of pentacles. We literally have before at the bottom of the deck, the king of pentacles and the devil came out. This person has been in the background hexing, cursing, and spiritually attacking you nonstop. Why? Because they do not want you to awaken. The judgment is in the reverse and the six of swords is in the reverse. This is someone who does not want you to release them. They do not want you to release the baggage that, you know, has been there from this karmic situation. They don't want you to travel, relocate. They just want you stuck in some type of heartache, pain, turmoil, financial hardship. This person has had it out for you. No lie. They have really had it out for you. And it's all because most likely you walked away from someone. It seems like you walked away from a relationship and this person has gotten friends, family, and, and anybody that they could possibly think of. They've even hired people to come in to try and sabotage you to create illusions for you. Queen of Cups, Seven of Cups. The Death Card, Two of Cups, Ace of Pentacles. The Death Card here. The, the way I'm reading this Death Card being in the reverse here is that um, somebody thought they were going to pull like a Lazarus move. They thought that they were going to have a rebirth. This will never come back together. Because what God is saying is that you have the Ace of Pentacles, Two of Cups, and the Lovers here now. You have a new contract. And whoever this person is, they're constantly competing. This could definitely be a Taurus. The Hierophant in the reverse. Or this person who has been trying to figure out the best way for them to become a cult leader. This person is, is in the occult somehow. But they've been using your energy or they wanted you to join forces with them. And it's pretty much like if you refuse to do that, then they just made it a point to forever attack you. And it's all because you have this Ace of Pentacles, the Lovers, the Two of Cups. It's all because you have a new connection here. And you're going to, wow, look at this. You're going towards the Temperance of Star. You're going towards Balance, Peace, Harmony. King of Swords is here with the Justice card. Wow. The World card is here. It's like you're an Earth Angel. And you're going towards your destiny. And then the King of Swords with the Justice. This Archangel Michael all day coming in, shutting all of this stuff down. And somebody, they just cannot get over the fact that either you're a natural born leader or you're going towards a natural born leader that you're going to be in some kind of connection with after this person has had you in this ongoing battle constantly of being stuck in the hangman energy while they watch you, stalk you. This is someone from your past, Six of Cups. From a past life. This person just. Look. Ten of Swords in the reverse. Or was it in the reverse? I don't know. It fell out. But the Ten of Swords is here. This person wants you to hit rock bottom. And that's the truth. Ace of Swords. So the Queen of Swords is here. There's no need for you to take half pity on this person. Because they never had any for you. This person has been behind the scenes destroying your life. So Spirit is saying now, you better cut cut yourself out of this. Uh, you're going to have to take your sword and get these swords out your own. But you now, the sword is in your hand now. And that's what people are afraid of because they don't know what you're about to do with this sword. They're very afraid now. They're, they know that you... Yeah, and all you really want to do, it looks like, is go towards this Ten of Cups. You're just trying to manifest happiness. But these people are terrified of what you're going to do when you get this sword in your hand. This sword is the truth and the clarity. It's your own divine energy. Somebody has literally been trying to use your spiritual eyes for themselves. And now that you, put your, you, you have your own eyes and you can see them as the enemy, that makes them a target. Now they know that they're on your radar. 
as the target. And trust me, they're all very afraid right now. Everybody knows how karma works. They, these people know. They know exactly what's coming. See, it was all cute. It was all fun and games when they was doing their rituals and they you didn't see what was going on. But now that you see what's going on, everybody's. Like these people, their entire lives are about to fall apart. And they know that. Trust me, they know more about you than you know about you. They know about they know more about the power that you possess than you know. And that's the reason why these people are so afraid. Because they're thinking to themselves, if she or he, if you do any, if you send any of this energy back, oh boy, what's going to happen? August is going to be, it's going to be a great month, to be honest. Because the truth is going to come out. And if you don't let this shake you to your core and you stay grounded, this is the type of strength and the courage that lion, lioness, Leo energy that you need to put you in your most powerful state of being. And I'm going to tell you now, you don't need to back down from any of these people or these situations. Every single thing that they get, they deserve it. And you should not have any mercy for them. Because I'm telling these are people for some of you, 14 years, 10 to 14 years, they've been in the background trying to destroy every single facet of your life. Your friends have teamed up with these people. And then for some of you, th there's a significant lover here. This person... I'm seeing that I think I may have mentioned this before um, that series that was on Netflix sex life. This person has slept with your friends. They've tried to sleep with your family members. OK, they have hired people to come. The things that this person has done to destroy your life, to try to get close to you, find out information about you, stop you from moving forward. It is truly sick twisted disgusting um and and it's very very much just just far-fetched like the great lens this person has gone through and then what's really sad is some of you you have friends and family they definitely <laughs> some of them knowingly help this person spiritually attack you some of them unknowingly this person has tried to get under and get close to people that you know just to spiritually attack you more just to hurt you. This is the kind of person that will go in and sleep with one of your friends or family just so that when you find out they want you to be hurt. And if you, when this information comes out, you don't need to let it bother you a bit because all this is is a distraction. This is God's way, the universe's way of testing to see how strong are you when it comes to releasing your past. If these people did things to you in the past, it doesn't even matter. They're not in your life anyway. So leave them where they are. Leave them where they are. I know that's easier said than done to know that people have done these awful things to you. But I'm telling you right where you are in your life right now, you cannot afford to be distracted by this. And that's exactly what they wanted to happen was for you to be distracted so that you will miss an opportunity. Do not let these people win. Do not. You're going to have to get out of your feelings. When these things come up. Full moon in Pisces this month. Pisces energy. That's considered the most psychic. One of the most psychic signs. Intuition heightened. That's high priestess energy here in Leo season. Oh the truth is coming out. About a lot of things. And these people year after year have been trying to hide the truth. A lot of you now you've grown and you've ascended. They can't hide it. They won't hide it. Nothing will be hidden. So 
I would say brace yourself. <laughs> but um don't don't allow this to leave you shaking and stirred. It's not worth it. It's just another test. It's a big test before one of your, your biggest breakthroughs. Keep in mind how you react and respond to the situations here in the month of August is most likely going to be affecting the next 20 years of your life. And if these people who are secretly jealous and envious and hating on you and your romantic relationships, if they can get you to act out of character, all they need to be able to, to do and say is, I told you so. These people would love to catch you on camera. On some type of audio file saying something mean, rude, nasty, low vibration. If I were you, I would just stay quiet. I wouldn't react or respond to any of this when it comes. Some of you, you've already gotten a preview of it. But the crap hasn't qu quite hit the fan just yet. I would say just sit pretty. Don't don't worry about it. And it's sad that for a lot of you, this is all about a relationship. 